Hello, today I'm going to be looking at the Apps on Demand feature using VMware App Volumes. First, though, you need to um, just remove that box. I want to link my App Volume Manager to my Horizon environment. So, all I need to do here is enter the uh, server address for my App Volumes Manager, followed by my port number. In this case, I'm just using 443, which is actually the default, which I'm obviously going to keep. And in terms of username and password, I'm just going to enter uh, my uh, admin account, my corp domain. This is just a test domain that I'm using. Okay, once that's okay, that will then um, configure that within my Horizon environment. You can see that listed there. Then going to go across to my server farms. Going to do this because I want to associate that app volumes manager with this remote desktop session host. So just associate that. Should see that there from the drop down list because I've obviously predefined it. Okay, then go into applications. Um, this is where we're going to pull three applications. In the app volume manager, I just want to do one thing real quick. This is um, Expand out FileZilla. I'm going to edit that. This is an application that I've already configured, but what I want to do is change that to an on demand delivery rather than classic. Classic is just that traditional way we attach the application uh, using the agent to a VDI desktop, for example. So here we are just saying it's on demand. I'm now going to add an application to my Horizon farm from the App Volumes Manager. Okay, so we just selected the RDSH host that we're going to use. And then from the list of applications that it's discovered, we go down to the files in a client, which is the one that we just configured to be on demand. Okay, once we do that, we're going to go through and do some entitlements. So I'm just going to accept the default for application ID and display name. For the entitlements, I'm just going to use a demo user. Then find that user within the AD infrastructure. And just tick the box here to confirm that's the only one user that we're going to add. I'm going to say OK to that. We're then going to go across to the VMware Horizon client and actually test this out. So I'm just going to authenticate against my Horizon environment. So I just need to change that to obviously be user one mod six, which was the uh, user we just entitled to have access to that particular application. So once we've authenticated, you then see all the applications available to you. So in this case, um, we had some you know, published desktops and other applications, but I'm just going to launch that files in a client. And then what's happening in the background is that we are connecting to that RDSH server and that uh, app volumes application is kind of being mounted on demand rather than permanently associated. So you can see there that's just um, been attached and, and, and published and available to me. And if I actually go back to the App Volumes Manager, you'll see one slight difference if you have a look at the attachments in the past. Now you can see that that is a horizon attachment rather than the direct attachment, which is the traditional method. And that's how simple it is to do apps on demand.